What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of A Savage Taste with me, Dante Pocket P. Savage, and sure. And uh, today we are at a place called Empanola, um, and which they do empanadas that's stuffed with uh, different variation of foods. Um, so we have six of them, and we're gonna try uh, each one and see uh, see if we like it or not. You know, see if we, we regret you know coming here. Um, it is nighttime, so it is a little, little bit darker, but it'll do. You know, we got a little bit of light, so we're good. Um, so what, which one do you want to try first? So, um, we did get a cheese, truck cheese, um, crawfish, etouffee, gumbo, chorizo, beef, and chicken. And something that I think is unique to them, they actually put the name of it on... You can actually see it on, you know, like you know what you're you're getting. I think that's pretty cool. So let's try. You want to go with the crawfish? Yeah, and we also get two sauces. So what what's what's the sauces she said again? The green one is a I don't know lemon lime. I don't know. We'll see how it tastes. Yeah, I forgot that I'm caught. So which one you want to try first? Crawfish a two fish. Right. And our hands are clean, guys. Yes, properly sanitized. So this is the crawfish etouffee uh, empanada. So we're gonna try this out. It's very good. It's hot. Very hot. They actually are already stuffed and then she has to go ahead and run them through the oven so you get them extremely hot. Mm -hmm. That's about crawfish. Crawfish. Crawfish taste is, is real good. I'm gonna try it. Try it with my orange sauce. Like, like I said, I don't know what the name is, but I'm gonna try it. I forgot what the sauce is. We're gonna find out. Good. Good. I'm gonna try it with the green. Oh, this is good. Mm hmm. We had something like this before. Let me try it out. She just told me and I forgot what it was. All right, so since we have six of them, I think we should rate them as we go along. Because we, we probably we probably going to forget. We probably going to forget the names of them by the time we get in the car. So that one was the, the Crawfish Etouffee. Um, for me, I'm going to give it a beast. Um, I like Crawfish uh, Etouffee and for it to be wrapped in the in the, uh, the the empanada the way that it is. And it was, it was real warm. Uh, had had a real good consistency to it too, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four. I'm go ahead and uh, get down a, a beast for me. A savage. Yeah. I mean, I really, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. If if we had to do it overall, like I would, we could just push it to a five. Cause I like right. if we would have ordered six of them, I would have ate all six of them. I wouldn't have split none of them. All right. So, um, <laughs> which one you want to go next? Um. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the chorizo last because I know that's something that, that, that we really like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the with the with the shrimp cheese because I've never heard of anything like that before. Yeah, it's called shrimp cheese. Let me show you. Yeah, shrimp cheese. Shrimp cheese, and I mean it's toasted well, if you can see. So let's go ahead and break this. Oh, real cheesy. Very cheesy. Mm. 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 Let me try a little bit of this green so it's interesting You're giving me pot pie hot pocket vibes definitely like a real cheesy hot pocket with shrimp, but you know you ain't getting in no hot pot. Yeah, this, this is like too much cheese for me to be honest with you. You got more than me. Let me try this. Try not to waste it, but it's going everywhere. Oh my god, this is good. It's a little spicy. Oh, I like that. It's not bad, but I don't really taste the shrimp. In it, you know, I taste more cheese than anything. With a side of diet coke. All right. Mm. Let me have that. 
No, 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 no. That's why he gave up so easy. All right, I'm going to tell y'all right now. That's going to be a two for me. I agree. <laughs> It's definitely not trash, it's good. It, it, it tastes great, but it's just too much cheese and not enough shrimp. It and was then, like, you know, I think I had like one shrimp on my side. Like like on my half, I had like one, and it was like a little piece of shrimp. And it was like a lot of cheese, like I'm, and I'm good. It's sadly that it, 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 it came after the crawfish one, so. Sponsorship. <laughs> so I think in that sense, we should head over to the chicken. It's just chicken something. Yeah, the name kind of kind of erased off. I mean, but I mean the toast. I'm sure. I'm sure it tastes it, good though. Yeah. They, these are perfectly toasted. Oh yeah. I would definitely come back. And if you guys would see, you know, we we are in New Orleans. I mean. Oh, that look good. Look like a little chicken salad. I think it's Peruvian. Yeah, black olives in it. It's Peruvian. It's a different kind of taste. It's not something that I've, I've tasted before, but I'll tell you that. Yeah, I agree. Very, very, very different. I agree. This is... It's different. Uniquely, it's something. You can actually taste the chicken, but you taste the olives. Like, there's an olive, a black olive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and get and this. And all a... these are ham homemade... The consistency is great. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm going to have to get this one a three. It's good. You know, I'll, I'll eat it again. But, you know. It's good. It's good. I like this place. Good job. How did you hear about them? I just heard about it from a friend. So a lot of people really been helping us out with options to choose from. Places that we never ate at. Places that we never heard of. So, in a, you can comment below. Any places in the New Orleans area that you know of that maybe we haven't eaten at or maybe you own a restaurant and want us to come and try your food, we'll be happy to, you know, spend a little bread, eat a little bread, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, just comment below, like, any spots. Or, you know, we like to travel, too. Like, we travel at least, like, twice a year. I mean, because of COVID, it kind of slowed things down. But, I mean, we still kind of get around, you know? So... If you got a spot, you know, that's down south, you know, maybe somewhere we can like drive to. Um, or you know, know, like COVID might be might be slowing down. I, I don't Cross think it I don't think it'll ever end, but you know, it'll slow down to the point where we could travel more and don't have to wear a mask all the time. Um, maybe we could go, you know, wherever you, you are, you know. So um just help us out with that. You know, you can hit us on our Instagram too. Um the Instagram uh link is is below as well. So that's Facebook, all that good stuff. Let's get it. Um, so we got three more. Um, I think we should you do pick, the. What we the last one? I. Me, I, I you could, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the beef. Uh, the beef Argentina. Um, as you can see, beef Argentina. Um, I'm sure this one's gonna be a different taste too. I think this is giving you a traditional. I like how it looks on the inside though. Like it's real. You can tell the season very well. Yeah, this is yeah. giving you a traditional yeah. um infinado, which is slight, you know, meat pie, basically. Yeah. Mm. No, see, this, this tastes like a just like a flat out meat pie. Like, it's, it's a little salty. It's really good. It has the olives. That's the only thing that's throwing me off. Nah, this is good. Uh-uh. I like I got a little chicken in here too. Nah, no chicken. You don't see that? That yellow part? It's not chicken, baby. They would have to say it. I'm not gonna say this. Good. I agree. I'll, I'll give it a three as well. It's the, the the thing that threw me off was the olives. I don't think it was needed. Because you know, like, black olives have a strong taste of green olives. And when you put something in it, it just... Eh. Yeah, I think another thing, too, is kind of hard. It's kind of hard to beat, like, the first... Because the first one was, was a savage straight out the gate. So it's kind of hard to, to compare to that, you know? But we got two left. We got gumbo, which I'm really interested in. Um, and we have chorizo... Um, 
uh, Mexicana. So it's your your turn to your turn to choose. Gumbo. I've been sitting here looking at this. Being from New Orleans, we have an empanada named Gumbo. Um. It looked like it's stuffed very well too. Like it's it's more stuffed than the rest of them. So inside of Gumbo. It doesn't look bad. It don't look bad. Inside a gumbo is sausage, no chicken. Yeah, it looks like chicken. Chicken is something. I'm gonna tell you, like getting gumbo from certain places, like when you're from New Orleans, it's kind of like it's hard. You know, it's hard because homemade gumbo is the best gumbo. The best. So um, let's give it so a shot. So this has. Uh, I did ask her what was in here, and it is. <laughs> Bell peppers. We'll see. Chicken, I think. Let's do it. <laughs> I got. I'm lying to y'all. This is flat out trash. Oh no, it ain't that bad. <laughs> this is trash. It don't even. It don't even taste like like remotely like gumbo at all. If it was named something else, I, I probably wouldn't have high expectations, and I'd probably be like, "Oh, it's straight." But but you put gumbo on it, it got to it got to at least taste like when gumbo. When you put chicken and sausage and bell pepper together, voila! No, no, no. It's so thick, like it. Like gumbo should not be thick. I understand you have to have that consistency because right. of, because how, of how it's how it's prepared. But you said you can't compare the thickness. Uh, uh, Empanada is supposed to be full. I understand that, but you still have to mimic the taste. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like you go to a popcorn spot and you say, "I want caramel popcorn," but it tastes like butter popcorn. You're gonna be like, "What is this?" That was so dramatic of you. It's still you. That, you have that was to, dramatic. Whatever. I'm gonna still eat it though. I'm trying to think about what it tastes, about what it tastes like. I don't know. That's trash for me. Damn trash. Okay. Nah, I can't get it but trash. That's cool. trash. All right. What up? My favorite, favorite <coughs> thing, you guys, you know I am. I love Mexican food. The last one is chorizo. Yeah, I've been waiting on this one. Hopefully we don't get disappointed. Please don't mess up my beloved. Got black, black beans in it. <laughs> you ready? I just want to show y'all. Very look cheesy. So I'm assuming they love cheese. I like it. It's not bad at all. We waited till it got cold. It's good though. That, like the chorizo here is really good. It tastes like pepperoni. I taste pepperoni. It gives like a little piece of vibe, but it's good though. I'm doing pizza. Ooh, wow. a lot of cheese. Heavy on the cheese. I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna get that one a beast. Like since I, I the the. the Crawfish A2 Fave. I said it was a beast earlier, but I, I, I upped it to a five. Um, Cause I, 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 you know, I had to agree. I was trying to, you know, since it was the first one, I was trying to not to be like, go jump the gun. But I, I can, I can definitely give the, the shrimp A2 Fave a five, the first one. And the last one, of course, would be a beast. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll give it a four, you know, like it was, um, it was really good. Should like. Yeah, I give it a full. Yeah, I, I think I think it was it was like it was, it was very, a very beef? very good. Yeah, I give it a beast. I give it a three. It was good. It was not a beast. Would you come back? Yes. I will come back too. And if you guys back. are in the area, if you guys travel uh, in New Orleans area, I will put the address uh, in, in the description below, <clears throat> so you guys can check it out. A great place. Uh, Good looking establishment. Uh, the the customer service is, is, is amazing. She was very helpful. I mean, it's Mac Dad. 
in a neighborhood. Yeah, in the middle of a neighborhood. We have nothing but houses <laughs> around us. People are going in and out. We have families walking their ba- their dogs or with their babies. Yeah, so. Quiet. Nice yeah. little spot. So this is a good little, good little snack, if you will, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, you're we're not probably, gonna get full. We'll probably be be eating something later on tonight too. Um, but I mean, I I feel like this was a great choice. It's something that we both have never heard of, have never eaten or anything well, like we that. Had like this was, before. We've had empanadas, but not like this. Like not not to be stuffed with with this variation of food. Right. Um. So this one, was, this, this is a great experience. Yeah, so we're gonna get some more to go because we uh. We felt that it was really good. We we don't regret this trip over here uh, to to get something good to eat over and here techni- at, at Empanola. And technically, we only had three, right? Yeah, technically we only had three because we split all all six of them. So we're gonna gr- grab some more. Um, we're gonna go ahead to the house. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Please, guys. Remember to donate. Uh, help us out with this equipment. Help us out with these videos. We're getting better and better in, in, in each in each video. Um, so, you know, we've been, you know, buying a little equipment here and there, um, but we're going to come to you guys, uh, try to shoot, like, like I said, what, like, try to at least like post like, like once a week, you know, we'll probably have like a designated day that we'll try to get it out to you guys. So remember to, uh, follow us on social media. Um, also remember to, um, I already said like, share, and subscribe. So stay tuned for the next episode. Anything you want to say? Yes. And, um, you can follow me on IG at uh sincerely rail i'm gonna put your name on the over my hand she don't know her instagram tag sincerely underscore rail that is my business page and then you can follow me at um underscore rail living so yeah all right you guys we'll see y'all next time we're gonna get some more food thank y'all